This Kerberos authentication protocol is the another authentication protocol used in the Windows environment. It is comes by default. This protocol is the default authentication protocol used with Active Directory in the domain controller. Kerberos is the another authentication protocol widely used with the domain controller to authenticate the user. In this authentication protocol, there is a KDC server key distribution center. It manages the password for all the user computer accounts connected in this domain with the help of Active Directory. In KDC, we have two other server. First is authentication server. Second is ticket granting server known as TGS. The authentication server will be responsible for providing the TGT ticket, ticket granting ticket to the user. TGS or Ticket Granting Server will be responsible for providing the service ticket to the user for accessing the requested services. The first client will send a request to the authentication server and will receive a TGT ticket in the response. This ticket is to prove the identity of the user only. Second step, the client send a TGT ticket further to the Ticket Granting Server for the request to access the server services. The TGS server will check the TGT and will approve the user request and provide the service ticket in the response. Now finally, the client will use the service ticket and send to the server on which resource exists and access the resources. This is the how the Kerberos authentication protocol works. If you want to understand the Kerberos working or more details, you can refer the below slides. What are the TG ticket? What are the service ticket? What are the have sent? ticket to check the below slides with more details. Let us understand the Kerberos with the below image. The client want to access the web server resources. The client will first prove its own identity in the network with the authentication server. The client will send an encrypted request message with the username, system time and service information which user want to access and this information and all these information are encrypted with the user password hash and sent to the authentication server. Authentication server in KDS has the password for all the user and computer accounts. It will decrypt the data with the user password hash stored in the active directory. The server will reply to the user request. Authentication server will verify all the details in the request and if they valid, the server will reply to the user request with the session key and TGT ticket. The session key is the encrypted with the user password. It contains the username and system time. To decrypt the information, user password is required and TGT is like an approval which also encrypted with the KDC password and it is valid for some hours. If it is expired, the client will further submit a request to the authentication server to get a TGT ticket. Next, client will send a session key and TGT ticket to the ticket granting server. Session ticket consist of the username and system time and the server name. This information is encrypted with the user password and the TGT ticket. The TGT ticket is the same ticket received in the previous step. Ticket granting server decrypt the TGT ticket with its KDC password and verify the TGT ticket. If it the one generated by the KDC server also find the user identity. Ticket granting server decrypt the TGT ticket with its password and verify the digital ticket and find the user identity has been already verified by the authentication server in the previous step and find this server information where user want to access. Now the ticket granting server will send a service ticket which contains the user password and this information is encrypted with the password of the requested server. In this session key, only the server decrypt this information and the session key. Only the server can decrypt the information. Now ticket granting server will send a service ticket and a session key to the user. Service ticket contains the user password. This information is encrypted with the user password. Ticket granting server will send a service ticket and session key to the user. Service ticket contains the user password and service ticket is encrypted with the password of the server which requested by the user. This information is encrypted with the requested server password. Only the server can decrypt this information. Session key is encrypted with the user password and consists of the username and system time of the client machine. The user will forward both, the, both of the tickets to the main web server. The server will decrypt 
the service ticket with its password and find the user password in the information. The server will further use the user password and decrypt the session key and find the username and system time of the user machine. If system time matches with the system time of the user machine, the server will allow the user to access the resources. This is the end of the lecture. Thank you.